This is HR Streaming with another reaction video. Uh, this one, uh, once again, from uh, San Diego Comic Con 2018. This is uh, the Shazam trailer. Um, you know, based on the uh, the long-running um, DC Comics character, or rather Fawcett Comics, later bought out by DC and then... Uh, was folded into the uh, the DC universe, uh, but basically, um, the um, moderately well known um, Superman kind of character uh, who happens to be a young boy, um, in it as his alter ego, um, and uh, Shazam is his. Uh, Shazam is not only the his uh, his transformation phrase it's also you know it, it it's the name of the uh, wizard who gave him his powers and it's an acronym for several gods whose powers he adopts um like uh solomon uh hercules atlas zeus and uh, mercury at the end and then there and then i forget who the other a is uh sorry that uh like um i'm a bit familiar with uh, with this character, but uh, you know, haven't actually um, read many read much with him in it. Um, honestly, the most consistent things that I've seen him in was in um, the first season of Young Justice, where he was a uh, supporting character and a uh, mentor to the kids, who, to the uh, to the team who at first didn't realize that he was younger than he was actually younger than they were it was kind of it was kind of fun um anyway and uh the characters traditionally named captain marvel but uh and in fact this was the first character who had the, the first character in comics who had the name captain marvel but as it turns out uh like um dc had sued uh fawcett comics for uh for Captain Marvel's similarities to Superman, and so kind of got, so kind of uh, caused Fawcett Comics to go out of business, or kind of like bought out the, you know, kind of got them to like cease and, and desist with a character who is somewhat similar to Superman, and then bought out the company and started uh, publishing uh, those comics. But like in the meantime, um, I think this, uh, as I recall, the story goes, uh, Marvel had realized, now hold on a second, we're called Marvel Comics, and uh, the char a character being, a character by the name of Captain Marvel isn't being used right now, so if we snap that name up, we can actually have a character who's, we can actually have a character in Marvel Comics who's named Captain Marvel. Let's try that. So they did. And uh, as a result, when DC started uh, started publishing uh, books with uh, with Captain Marvel, you know Billy Batson, they couldn't they they no longer had the rights to put the name Captain Marvel on on the title of their comics. Marvel had the rights to do that, so instead they started uh, publishing um, comics like you know his uh, solo series with the name you know under the title uh, the Power. Yeah, under the title "The Power of Shazam," and uh, it's and it was that way for quite a while. So he was so the title of the series was "The Power of Shazam," and the character inside was named Captain Marvel. And then in more recent years, like around 2011, with DC's uh, rebirth, no, not rebirth, uh, the the New 52 relaunch started calling uh, they decided okay screw it most people think of him as most people think of this character as Shazam anyway because he's been because he's been in um cuz like there was a 70s live action TV show I believe and a uh, yeah yeah I think it was 70s and then a uh, and um I think it might have been a Saturday morning cartoon um and they both they both had had you know Shazam as titles so most of the public just thinks of that character as Shazam anyway, so they're like, okay, well, why don't we just call the character Shazam and and kind of avoid more more entanglements? And uh, 
So fast forward to present day, now there's a live action movie called Shazam. Who's starring Shazam? Well, technically starring Zachary Levi, but as the title character says Shazam, and uh, with that history lesson, uh, whether it was required or not, out of the way, let's get into this. You run from foster homes in six counties. Oh. I can take care of myself. Here's Billy. When you're 18, give these people a chance, because that's what they're giving you. This is Billy Batson. Make sure you make him feel at home. They seem nice, but don't buy it. It gets real Game of Thrones around here. Dude, just messing around. You look at me and you're like, why so dark? You're a disabled foster kid. You've got it all. If you could have one superpower, what would you pick? Everybody chooses flight. You know why? So they can fly away from this conversation. No, because heroes fly. What, you need your fake family to stand up for you? Hey! Man, sorry about that. Go, go, go! Grab it! Get out the way! Billy Bats. I choose you as champion. You got some icing on that train. You should get that looked at. Hello? Say my name so my powers may flow through you. Say my name! But I don't know your name, sir. Shazam. Are you for real? Say okay! Shazam? Ah, ah. This means Billy! What is happening? You're the only person I know that knows anything about this Cape Crusader stuff. Can I? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's crazy, right? What are your superpowers? Superpowers, dude? I don't even know how to pee in this thing. AM to the BM, BM to the AM. You have super strength. BM, you just got Can you fly? If I quit your BM, I still rock with Sage. If I quit this season, I still be the greatest. You okay? Why are you talking? Be humble. Sit down. You know, I don't think that's going to buff out. Your phone's charged. Your phone's charged. What the hell? You're like a bad guy, right? Shazam! Gentlemen! You have bullet immunity! I'm bulletproof. <laughs> you're dead. Sorry about your window, but night. you're welcome for not getting robbed. Oh, hey, what's up? I'm a superhero. Okay, that was that was a festive thing. Um, all righty. So, oh, sorry, I sorry, keep bumping my laptop. Um, I like that. This was certainly a palate cleanser from, say, darkness, all edginess, uh, Teen Titans trailer, and darkness, all weirdness. Of uh, Mr. Glass trailer, or no, Glass trailer, but wow, I like that. Yeah, that's that is a that is a legit. Um, that's a that's a decent uh, retelling of uh, Billy Batson's origin story as uh, Captain Marvel because he's a. Uh, He's an or he's an orphan, and he is a, and uh, like in some versions he has a foster family, and other versions he kind of grows up alone. And some versions he's like a radio, st like he he's a radio station host and a reporter, while also being eight years old. It's so weird. And in others, uh, he's a uh, he's a paper boy. Or a kind of a uh, kind of the uh, um, what did they call those kids that uh, that would like stand on the street corners going extra extra read all about it and holding up a newspaper. He was that. 
um, and I think the uh, the radio station job was like somebody's idea of an update of that, and then, um, okay, but anyway, so uh, the but the elements that were important are there, uh, him being him being an orphan and uh, and him going through tunnels and finding uh, Shazam's the you know the wizard Shazam's. Um, Lair and uh, being imbued with magical powers, and then, uh, and this also definitely uh, picks up on the more uh, recent interpretations of uh, Billy, in which of of Shazam, in which um, while he has like all these godlike powers, including the wisdom of Solomon, and while he physically looks like an adult, he's still he's still, you know, mentally a child, whether eight years old or 12 or, you know, or 15 or whatever, you know, he's, he acts like a, uh, a, he, he acts like a kid and, you know, in his, uh, in his Captain Marvel slash Shazam form, he just happens to act like a, like an oversized kid, you know, like a, like a 12 year old in a, in a, uh, in an adult's body, and uh, Zachary Levi, I, I I really like that. He's he's really embracing that. Like in his body language, you can tell. It's like yeah, yeah, that is that is an exuberant kid who is who is in an who is in an adult's body and having the time of his life. And I'll, and I kind of like that. Like I guess um, I guess the wizard isn't giving. Uh, Billy any kind of like instructions or isn't telling him what exactly he can do in that form because Billy and his friend are having to to are having to figure that out on their own and half the time you know either by going through a checklist of all the powers that they know about or going on the or just you know through trial and error like how they find out that he's bulletproof like oh Okay, I, okay, you've got bullet immunity. <laughs> it's like I'm bulletproof. That's awesome. I like that. I like that. And you know, this is a kind of an introductory sort of origin uh, story trailer, so it doesn't have a you know it doesn't show like who the villain and or villains plural of this movie would be. But you know, there's time. This is just a teaser trailer at most. But I like that that. Um, like I don't recall if there was like a subway or just like some going through tunnels that was in um, Captain Marvel's original origin, but the idea that like he's that like Billy is in the subway and then all of a sudden he's like magically like transported to much different tunnels, you know, while he's riding the subway. That's I like that. That's that that's a smart way to go about it. You know, it it effortlessly modernizes it and you know it it makes sense and it's the kind of thing it's like oh well this is how he stumbles on to the lair you know just by just by trying to uh to take a subway train home and i like that while he's um like this does okay in the more modern um comics since uh, 2011 they've had a uh, Billy Batson who is you know he was reimagined as being he was reimagined as being what do you call it I guess a bit of a kid with an attitude and this you know basically this like disaffected sort of you know difficult uh, kid who has difficulty with authority and um, but it, you know and as a result you know he's kind of come off as a as a jerk when really Billy Batson is one of the sweetest characters in the uh, DC universe and or even in all of comics you know he's just been like a like a really like been been like you know a really nice kind you know character in a way that you know it's like well this is this is who he is as a kid and this and so basically what I'm seeing in this trailer is kind of a combination of both in a way that uh, that doesn't so that he, like he's a bit I guess he's a bit standoffish and he has a bit of a is a bit of difficulty w- relating to people but in ways that make sense for an orphan you know for somebody who's used to being you know 
tossed around and abandoned and discarded by the uh, by the system. You know, this is a kid who, in any other situation, would would probably slip under like slip between the cracks of the uh, of the system, and you know that that would you know it's kind of a it's a it's a believable sort of way for a uh, kid to grow up and for a kid and for a kid to act who's in that situation, and yet this trailer shows that he's still that despite all that he's still kind he's uh like uh it seems like the uh disaffected sort of like attitude that he has is kind of his coping mechanism but not necessarily not necessarily his like true spirit it's not his uh his way of his true way of dealing with things because he has the opportunity of like just walking away as his new stepbrother is being beaten up by bullies it's like well you know he could be like well this isn't my fight you know like uh who cares you know like uh he's not really my he's not really my brother so why do i care but then he can't he finds it he finds that he can't walk away and he's like nope i'm gonna get in this you know and he even he even decides to uh to fight those bullies with the crutch which you know one shows a bit of uh, a bit of pragmatism on this part on his part because it's multiple bullies who are much lo- who are much taller than he is so it's gonna <laughs> so you know use so yeah using a crutch makes sense and then afterward if i'm not mistaken he apologizes for actual well, like it seems like he was apologizing for what he for like using the crutch as a weapon you know like on one hand like an argument could be made that he was justified in doing so but on the other hand he still felt the need to apologize like this isn't quite what he wants to be you know it um but yeah i like that and and i'm really like i i, I really hope there is a lot more of this goofiness to the movie you know it it looks like it's really light and fun and that kind of thing has been for the most part missing from the uh from the dc movies and uh oh there was even a comment made uh on social media i believe i think i saw it on twitter where somebody said uh where somebody made the made the comment that uh the uh that the uh titans trailer that i had uh reacted to um a few nights ago or it might have even been yeah i think i think it was I think it was like yesterday or last night that i i uh, responded to it it's it feels like it's been weeks um like it felt like the the titans trailer was where like uh all the uh darkness we've come to associate with the dc um eu the the dc uh live action movies like it, that's 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 where that kind of darkness went to die is that uh, that Titans trailer and I, I looked at that and I'm like you know what that's a good description of it because yeah like all the darkness we've come to expect from those movies you know from um, Man of Steel on or even uh, with or even you know starting sooner with uh, the uh, Christopher Nolan movies yeah like um, it seems like that's kind of uh, drained like a like that kind of darkness is just not in this movie and i and i i i like that because like it doesn't even seem like that's the kind of dark tone you want for superman and it's certainly not something that's going to work for Shazam like that's going to be a miserable experience with a miserable character who's a kid you know like this is a movie that is embracing the idea that the title character is a kid and all the possible fun that that can entail. So I hope this movie does well. I hope this is a good hope this turns out to be a good movie. I look forward to more trailers. Um yeah, this is like I said this is a palate cleanser and after this um after I get done doing like with this and uploading um I am going to react to the uh, Young Justice uh, season three trailer. Uh, I believe it's. Uh, I believe the official title to the uh, series is Young Justice Outsiders. That was also um, released either today or yesterday at uh, S- at San Diego Comic Con. 
and I I really like the uh, Young Justice animated series, um, and the fact that it's getting a season three. Is, yes, I I I hope it's as it's as good as the uh, the previous two seasons were because I that's that's one of my favorite um, series of all time. It was just like an instant classic. Anyway, so with all that in mind, uh, this this has been my uh, my trailer reaction to uh, the uh, Shazam teaser uh, from San Diego Comic Con. If uh, you like this, um, drop a like on on my video. Leave a like, leave a comment if you'd like. Um, subscribe to my channel. You could uh, um, follow me on Twitter if you haven't already at HR Streaming. And uh, yeah, this is Hidden Ranger, signing out.